Good day everyone! We are now in the module 2 for the first quarter that is all about quadratic function. For the first topic in module 2, we will be discussing two competencies. We have number 10 and number 11. For competency number 10, that is modeling quadratic function. And competency number 11, that is representing quadratic function. So let us start. There are many real-world situations that deal with quadratic function. Throwing a ball, shooting a cannon, diving from a platform, and hitting a golf are all examples of situations that can be modeled by quadratic functions. So let us see some of the illustrations. So this is our first illustration. What can you see on our illustration? Yes, we have a basketball player that is trying to attempt a free throw. So once the player releases the ball for free throw, then the ball will be will be having a direction of that. Another one is we have here. Are you familiar with this? Yes, this is a game. And as you can see from the bird going to our pig, the direction will be that one. The next illustration will be, are you familiar with that? It is a rocket being launched from here. So we launch the rocket here. The direction will become there. And then definitely it will go on that direction. Our very own St. Jude Parish Church also shows or illustrates a quadratic function based on this illustration. And most of the bridges also illustrates quadratic function. So those are some of the real world situations that illustrates quadratic function. Another thing that we are going to, to, to do today is to differentiate a linear function from a quadratic function. When you are in grade 7, as you start discussing about functions and relation, you also discuss all about linear function. So I have here a linear function, y equals 2x plus 1. What are you going to do is complete the table of values and then let us grab the function. If we complete the table of values, we will be substituting the values of x for us to find the value of y. So if x is negative 2, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 1, negative 4 plus 1, yes, that is negative 3. And also, if x is negative 1, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 1 is, yes, that is negative 1. And if x is equal to 0, that will become 0, so x is equal to, yes, it is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, 2 times 1, that is 2, and 2 plus 1 is, very good, that is 3. And also, if x is equal to 2, 2 times 2, that is 4, and 4 plus 1 is, very good, so we have here 5. For us to grab, we need to plot it in the Cartesian plane. So that is our Cartesian plane. Let us Plot the first point, negative 2 and negative 3, negative 2 is there, negative 3 is here. Therefore, we are going to plot the point on that area. And then the second point, we have negative 1 and negative 1. Where are you going to plot that point? Very good. We have here negative 1, negative 1. And then the next is 0, 1. There is your 0, 1. And then the next one will be 1, 3. That is your 1, 3. And then the last one will be 2, 5. And there is your 2, 5. If we grab it, what will happen? Yes, if we connect the points, that will be the graph. So what actually we will be doing here is to compare linear function and quadratic function according to degree, according to the graph, and according to the table of values, specifically the difference in x and y. Now, let us see the linear function in terms of degree. What can you say? Yes, linear functions are first degree functions. 
And what can you say about the graph? Yes, the graph obviously is a straight line. And what can you say about the difference in x and y based on our table of values? Let's try to figure out. If we get the differences in x, 2 minus 1, that is 1. 1 minus 0, that is 1. We have 0 minus negative 1, 0 minus negative 1. What will be the result? Yes, it is also equal to 1. And then we have negative 1 minus negative 2. What will be the result? Yes, that is also equal to 1. So what can you see or what can you say about the differences in the values of x? Yes, they are actually, they are equal. How about the differences in y? Let us try to find out. 5 minus 3, obviously that is 2. 3 minus 1, yes, that is also 2. How about 1 minus negative 1? Let's write it. We have 1 minus negative 1. What is the result? Yes, it is also equal to 2. And then the last pair, we have negative 1 minus negative 3. Let us write again. Negative 1 minus negative 3. What do we have here? Yes, it is also equal to 2. So what have you noticed here? The differences in y are also equal. So what can you say about the table of values in a linear function? The first differences in x and y, as you can see, are both equal. So that is all about linear function. We will be comparing in these three factors, the linear function and quadratic function. Now we have here a quadratic function, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1, just like what we did earlier, you're going to complete the table and graph. Completing the table, let us substitute negative 3 for x, so we have negative 3 squared and then 2 times negative 3, then we have 9 minus 6 minus 1, and it is equal to 2. That is y. Y is equal to 2. On the other hand, if x is equal to negative 2, we have here negative 2 squared. That is 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then copy negative 1. This is equal to 0, 4 minus 4. So what's left is negative 1. That is why if x is 2, y is negative 1. And then next, if x is negative 1, we have here negative 1, negative 1, we have 1 minus 2 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. That's why we have here y is equal to negative 2 if x is negative 1. Now, what if, if x is equal to 0? This will become 0. This will become 0. So what's left? Yes, what's left is negative 1. That is y if x is 0 y is equal to negative 1. And then lastly, if x is equal to 1, we have 1 squared is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, this is equal to 0, so y is equal to 2, there you have it, it is equal to 2. Since we already completed our table of values, let us plot the points so that we can grab it. So this is our Cartesian plane. First pair, negative 3 and then positive 2. Negative 3 here. Positive 2y is here, definitely there. So if we are going to plot, there is negative 3 and then positive 2. The second point is negative 2, negative 1. Negative 2 is here. Negative 1y is there. So our point will be on that place. And then we have negative 1, negative 2. Here is your negative 1. Here is your negative 2. So if we plot the point, where is it? Yes, that is negative 1, negative 2. 0, negative 1. There is our 0, negative 1. And then the last point, 1, 2. Here is your 1. Here is your 2. So where is the point? Yes, that is the point. If we are going to draw our graph, then it will become... 
it will become that way. So again, let us compare in terms of degree, in terms of graph, and in terms of table of values. In terms of degree, what can you say about our quadratic function? Yes, it is a second degree function because the highest exponent is 2. How about the graph? The graph, as you can see here, is a smooth curve. This is smooth curve or this one is called a, it is called a parabola. And how about the differences in x and y in terms of table of values? Let's try to find out. Let us get differences. 1 minus 0, that is 1. 0 minus negative 1, 0 minus negative 1. What is the result there? Yes, it is equal to 1. And if we have negative 1, we have negative 1 minus negative 2. What will happen? Yes, it will be equal to 1. And if you have negative 2 minus negative 3, yes, it is also equal to 1. So as you can see here, just like in linear function, we have equal differences in x in the first level. How about the differences in y? We have 2 minus negative 1, 2 minus negative 1. What do we have here? Yes, it is equal to 3. If we have negative 1 minus negative 2, negative 1 minus negative 2, what do we have here? Yes, it is equal to positive 1. And then if we have this, negative 2 minus negative 1, what will be the result? Yet, yes, it is equal to negative 1. And then the last pair, we have negative 1 minus 2. What will be the answer? Yes, that is equal to negative 3. Do we have an equal differences in the first level? No, that is the difference. In linear function, in the first differences in y, they are already equal. But in the quadratic function, the first differences in y are equal. But let us try to get the second differences. This time around, let us get the difference between 3 and 1. And 3 minus 1 is... That is equal to 2. And if you have 1 minus negative 1, yes, it is also equal to 2. And if you have negative 1 minus negative 3, what do we have? Yes, it is also equal to 2. So as you can see here, the equal differences in Y are not the first differences. Instead, it is the second differences in Y. Again, in table of values, in terms of quadratic function, the first differences of x are equal, while the second differences in y are equal. That is the difference between the two. To sum it up, a quadratic function is defined by the general function or equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. A, B, and C are real numbers, and A cannot be equal to 0. And let us find the differences between the two in terms of degree. Linear functions are first degree function, and quadratic functions are second degree function. In terms of graph, what can you say about the linear function? It is a straight line. And a quadratic function, it is a smooth curve, which is what we call a parabola. And in terms of table of values, linear function... Equal differences in x produces equal differences in y. While quadratic function, equal differences do not lead to first differences in y because the equal differences in y are the second differences. Okay, so that's it for competency number 10 and 11. I hope you get it. Thank you for watching.